All right, so uh, hello everyone. So uh, let's say uh, you've been trying to write some code in your favorite text editor and uh, you've been like, okay, so I've written it, but I want to uh, compile it. But I also don't want to down wait for hours till Visual Studio downloads. And or maybe you cannot even run it on your low end laptop. Is there a way for me to compile my code under Windows? Under Linux, it's much easier. I've shown a few methods to my friends in the past, but I haven't shown any methods on Windows. And I figured since a ton of the world uses Windows, at least for now, um, that I can show you a way that you can compile your code even without having to use an IDE and just having to use your favorite text editor. Now, um, here's the thing. Um, it took me a little while to figure out, but I managed to figure it out. So uh, <laughs> the thing you'll need is the .NET framework to be installed on your computer. I have version 4.0 installed, but I would recommend that you install the latest version in order to get, take advantage of all the features that are in that. So pick the latest one if you can install it. Um, next thing to keep in mind, uh, once you've installed that, you will most likely need to restart. So do that, come back to this video, and then we can continue. So the tool we will be using for compiling our code in the command line is called CSC. CSC comes with .NET Framework. So, uh, here they show you some examples, but the thing we'll be using is the CSC executable. And here it mentions when it's located. So uh, I'm gonna show it to you under Windows where it is. So under Windows, so you need to go to C, Windows, Microsoft.net, Framework, the latest version, and then you're going to find a small piece of application called CSC.exe. Now, on its own, it doesn't do much, but uh, you need to get the csc.exe. Make sure to know where it's located, and once you've got that, you're going to launch your command line. Um, so, uh, let me show you this. So, you're going to launch your command line, and then you go to, you're going to do cd, and just copy this paste it in and you're in the directory that you need to be in in order to compile your code. Now, let's say your code is on another drive. I'm already in the same location I was before. And you want to compile it. It's actually really simple. You just run csc.exe and then give it the location of your code. In my case, my code lives on my second hard drive. It's called testcode.cs, which is the file I have open here right now. Let's add some uh, code in here. Uh, let's say, hello, how are you doing? And we're going to wait for input console dot read key. And that's our code that we're going to compile. I'm using Notepad++ for this, so that's that. So here is our finished code, for example. And you want to compile it. So now what you do is you just run this. It's going to show you some messages about the compiler itself. And it also tells you up to which version it supports. I'm running in Windows 7 for now, so that's why I have support up to C Sharp version 5, but that's when you're doing basic stuff like this, you shouldn't be affected. Um, affected. So now it's compiled. So if we have a look in the folder, where is our executable? It's not in here. Well, our executable is actually <laughs> in here. As you can see right here, testcode.exe. That's our application. Um, it is in this directory because we are located in this directory, so it saved it over here. So what you could do is use the graphical user interface and just copy it over. 
but I'm going to just do it the simple way. I'm just going to cut it and uh, move it to this directory so we can access it. And now what we do is we uh, run our code. We can run this either through the command line, like I'm going to show you right now, like that. Um, don't ignore ignore that. That's a vast just doing its thing. And there we go. Um, that's our application running. It says hello, how are you doing? And waits for input. So you basically just kind of keep running this. I'm going to show you one piece of code I compiled before this. That was some testing. Uh, this is some code I compiled before. Uh, it's a project I'm working on for my programming class. It's a really simple um, RPG. Well, kind of an RPG, but it's for object-oriented programming in C-sharp. And see, it just kind of works. And negative two magic, and we can run away. So yeah, it it works. I've compiled it using just this line of commands, and it compiles just fine. So yeah, this is how you can compile your. C sharp code that you've written in a text editor and don't want to run Visual Studio. You can just compile it using the command line in Windows itself. You just need to know a few basic commands to get a few things done, but that's it. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope you learned something and that you'll be able to use some of this stuff so you don't have to use Visual Studio code or we just to be able to matter just to compile a few lines of code. So yeah, uh, hope this helped and have a great day guys. Bye.